Let's just go on and make some acrylic signs. The very first thing we'll be cutting on this will be the white. So we do have it loaded up. We do ha are having to use a pass through due to the fact of how big these boards are. But we'll get all this cut out and show you the next few steps of this. We now have the red portion of our acrylic sign on the cutter. We'll let it keep doing what it's doing. And we've still got two more colors to go. We are finally cutting out our base for this sign. It's actually fairly time consuming, taking a little bit longer than I was expecting. A lot more work than I was expecting. But hey, that's part of it to make a great product. So what I have here is all of our letters all cut out and somewhat mocked up a little bit. This ain't the exact location. I still need to go and put these in, but everything's going to depend on our base as far as lining everything up. This will be a lot of just measuring. A lots and lots of measuring to make sure everything is right and in place exactly how it should be. We now have our black base acrylic all cut out. I do have to say, when you are messing with this, do be careful because I did cut myself when I was pulling it out off the machine, but wasn't bad. But just a warning, you can cut yourself with this. Now what I'm working on right now is actually a dry fit on trying to get everything lined up. Cause like I said, we got a lot of gappings all over this. And then at the same time, we got to make sure this gapping's good and this gapping's good up there. So actually this is the time consuming part. And once we finally get this laid out, we'll be able to start gluing everything down. Now I do want to remind you as you're doing this, be sure to take your backing off the back pieces cause there is a material that's on the front and the back of the this acrylic and it's a little easier to do two-handed but just make sure you get all that pulled off before you start gluing everything down because otherwise you're just wasting time and you won't have a good result there Now remember, as you're doing this, do take your time. Because once this is glued down, it's down. So, as a big part of this is time and measuring. Don't rush it, because otherwise you could end up with a big mistake and have to start back from almost square one. We're just about finished with this. Now, I did make a few mistakes on my art. I was able to go back and fix it fairly easy. I ended up cutting these to the wrong size on the insides. But, as you see, have everything cut and inlaid in there now. Only thing left to do now is let our glue dry. Then we can peel off all of our backing. And there we have it now with these acrylic signs there's one thing to think of this is not cheap i said just for the materials alone for this we have a little over 350 dollars that's not included in the glue the laser uh power anything like that or even our time just a little over 350 in just acrylic here so whenever you get ready to make some acrylic signs that is one thing to think of as far as whenever you get a price these for your customer because it'll add up quick before you realize it i know this is a fairly short video but i like to thank all y'all for sticking around watching this if you can be sure to hit that like button and in the description let me know what else you want to see me cut with that laser or make. 
I'm all about making stuff right now with it. Heck, it's of course, it's a fairly new toy still for me. And heck, I just love doing DIY projects like this and seeing what all I can actually make because it's fun to do. Till next time, y'all take it easy.